Welcome everybody to the watch list right here in the Latin Nerds Network. We're ready to go over all the shows and movies that get released on streaming. And of course, at the end of the show, let you know what's coming out so you can create your very own watch list. Ready for our recommendations as always is my co-host who's joining us now. Of course, live from Houston is Senor Jaime, a.k.a. Chewy. What it is, what it was, what it shall be besides a whole lot of World Cup action. Of course. <laughs> what's up, brother? What's going on? <laughs> a lot of games being played, a lot of upsets. USA still has a chance, you know. Yeah. Just say, hey, look pretty good against. Sad, they look good sad, against England. Sad. I gotta give credit credit to them. Just saying, dude, they did. Ties, really, dude. They look good. Ties. They look good. You, want... you get played a win, not the tie. Okay. Listen, a tie is as good as a win in the World Cup. Sometimes yeah. they have a chance. That's all I'm saying. That being said, uh, but yeah, so we're actually missing. Um, yeah, what game are we missing now? Some games going on right now, but whatever. The good games are coming up a little bit later. All that good stuff, but let's get on to the other things that are non-sports related. Of course, a lot of shows to talk about. Um, but I want to circle back on one we talked about last week. I know we were excited about the show 1899. That's right. The uh, same creators as Dark. Also a Netflix show, a show we absolutely love. One of the best sci-fi shows. Writers, writers, yeah. directors. Everything. Call yeah. it what you want. The whole team coming back for their uh, sophomore effort here. Uh, this was, again, mm-hmm. a little mis- mysterious sci-fi show about... You know, uh, passengers in a you know one of those ships and back in 1999 traveling to the U.S. Everybody escaping some sort of their past for one reason or another. They discover a, a, a empty vessel with a Prometheus, which is missing for four months. Find out no one seems to be alive but a young kid. And of course, things start happening. They try to figure out what's going on and stuff that's happening in their own ship as well. A lot of mystery here. The shroud was pulled over at the end of the, uh, the episode of the uh, season. We're not going to spoil anything because. This is a show we're talking about now because I still really recommend it. And uh, I'll go you chew your thoughts on how things came about. Did it work for you? I, 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 yeah, hell yeah. Just checking. Gotta ask. <laughs> hell gotta yeah, ask. Went for it. I mean, I was uh, mind blown at, at the end. I did not see it coming. Uh, big, big, uh, big lead up and great finish uh, to the show. Again, very slow pace, yeah. slow burn. But which is fine because it, it, it's such a big mystery. You have to go and, and and go piece by piece. And obviously, if you've seen Dark, you know their style and the way how they like to reveal things, even through the three seasons. Every season, you thought you knew what was going on, and all of a sudden, at the end, they just throw a monkey wrench into things. You're like, what? But uh, I mean, yeah, it was a great ending to the show. Uh, completely caught off guard and surprised as far as what is really going on even when I thought I knew what was happening and uh, looking forward to season two. Yeah, great ending. Uh, I suspected something something like that. They alluded to a certain phrasing I want to say to spoil it, but that they kept referring to the whole situation as I'm like, okay, this seems to be something of this ilk. Um, it's hard to talk about not spoiling, so I won't say much. But yeah, I liked how it ended. I, it's a great show. I, I really hope there's a second season. I hope there is. They talked about it. We'll see. You know, Netflix, who knows? I hope it gets good viewership, which is why I'm saying you guys go watch this show. Like, good sci-fi. Again, it is slow, but it's all about the payoff, right? The payoff, like we talked about last week, if it didn't pay off, it was a waste of time, right? But it, it paid off mm-hmm. for all these stories they set up with the characters and what's going on. The, the pace, the very deliberate pace, um, invading a little bit at a time, right? Which is really cool. Until you think, yeah, exactly. You think you know what's happening, and then oh shit, I didn't know that was happening. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that was happening, right? And where did the show <laughs> end up? As I'm curious, where they go from here is obviously a much bigger story than we initially thought. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, because it, it's not just a oh, we're coming to America story, right? It's escaping your past is much, much bigger. Well, yeah, than it's it. much, much bigger than that. And, you know, and you get, you get understanding why the past and how it relates to what their actions are, and etc., and all that particular with the main character. Again, it's hard to talk about without saying too much. Uh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. keep it clean. Yeah. You guys should watch this, you know, as, as open as possible. Well, wait, like I said, we still don't know who's in charge, right? Right. So uh, think, yes. We yeah. don't know the real purpose mm-hmm. uh, of what is happening. Uh, we don't know who yet. We kind of have an idea of, of who's real and who isn't, um, but not a hundred percent, especially some of the main, the main, a uh, couple of main characters throughout sure. the story. Um, and we don't know anything about how the, the story of her mother ties into this whole mess because that was a big theme as far as her past being her mother going crazy after having kids and creating this institute. But you know, how does that? What I, I, I would say it's, it's it's there. It's there because it's an important factor. It plays into the overall story, but how it plays in, we still don't know. 
And so there's a lot going on. It's like you just want to keep asking. You keep asking the question. You got a lot of questions answered. And it said, okay, here, here's another 100 questions. Good luck. Right. <laughs> Coming for season two. I really hope it, it yeah. is green lit and we'll find out sooner or later. But yeah, excellent show. I highly recommend you guys to check this out. If you've seen Dark, expect more of that. And that's a good thing. Unless you didn't like Dark. Mm -hmm. Don't bother. But if you didn't like Dark, you're not going to like this. I mean, this is be honest, right? Because it's the very same style, same writing and all that. So. Uh, but excellent show, yeah, just worth circling back. But yeah, guys, check this one out for sure. This week, uh, no movies, I don't think, no, no, no movies. Um, there are more, mostly shows and one documentary, which we'll talk about briefly. And that's our universe. Uh, kind of oh, because like, well, I, I finally caught the Christmas movies because I didn't watch them. Oh, last yeah, week, well, so. we had talked about those last week and all that. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it real quick, but real quick, and our universe documentary that came out on Netflix, very uh, nature esque, kind of on those kind of nature planet ones or whatever, with the soothing sounds of Mr. Morgan Freeman. I mean, you just put them on. I mean, you just, just you can put them in the background, and it's all good at that point. Um, same thing here. It wasn't. I mean, it was it was fine. Well produced. It's good. It didn't blow me away. You know, you take away Morgan Freeman, I probably wouldn't be hearing it. <laughs> you know, this is a good put in the background kind of watch. It's not a bad one, but it just I don't know. We've seen this kind of documentary so many times. It's you know, it's done different ways. Yeah, but, I, I, you know, I, I, I'll bad. push back on. I'll push back on that a little bit because. This is not just a, a, a universe explaining documentary. You, you can turn on Nature Channel, turn on Sci-Fi Channel, and, and catch a, a series on the moon or the Earth or the universe or the planets, right? Which is straight, you know, peanut butter and jelly. And this is a unique in that, yeah, not only Morgan Freeman. I mean, that sounds great, you know, by itself, but he could be, you know, reciting the alphabet to us. But um, it, what they do in this one is, is not only explain the universe, right, through individual elements first starlight right then water and gravity so there are certain parts of the universe right not just everything but tying it into a story of a a species on earth right so the turtles the bears the cheetahs right so and kind of inner and the penguins at the end mm -hmm. so kind of interacting one with the other and and kind of you know you know kind of weaving those two stories together still about the universe but tying it into a life form on earth but, so that's the unique part. It's yeah, not yeah. just straight. Okay, here's the sun. Here's how I was born. And no, no, it's not like a straight like account of you know the, 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 the happenings of the formation of the universe. Nothing like mm. that. Um, but again, it's it's your. This is what documentaries used to be all the time. I'd like to see something new. It's not bad. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm recommending it. Obviously, it's just it was good. It was, it was no, fun. it's a good, it's a fun yeah, watch. It's yeah, good for what it was. Um, Six episodes. Yeah. You mentioned before you get to the next shows. You mentioned the the movies and all that. You, you, I think there was Spirited. There was the Christmas Story. Story. Yes, yes, right. both of them. So yes, those are the two yes. that you mm -hmm. saw? Just your quick thoughts mm -hmm. on it, just real quick, just to get it. I, I uh, enjoyed both yeah. of them for the most part, but yeah. Christmas Story was, yeah, nostalgia for him. Yeah. Uh, very, you know, funny and cute. And and, and I, I, now I understand what you meant if I put in the string card. Right. With this, because all this has come up like as a possibility of mine. And, and so him reminiscing of, uh, and basically it's like a, a, a going down memory lane of what his dad, not only the movie, but what he meant to him and Christmas time and trying to do him being thrust into the position, okay, I'm in charge now. I got to make this great Christmas for my kids the way that my dad did it for for, for, for him. And, and and throwing in the memories of the kids and the triple dog dare you and, you know, a little flashback cameo of the, of the pink bunny suit and stuff. And so you get your humor and, and, and everything. So, uh, so very cool. Uh, spirited. I really like. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was, you know, I, it maybe you know five two minutes too long. I maybe mean, they could have cut off one musical sequence. This was too long. But it's, but it's, yeah, but it's a musical, right? So you kind of expect, you know, those funny musical moments, and they had plenty to go through with Will Ferrell singing and some of the other characters. But it was, I thought it was, it was very, very funny. Uh, and and I like the the oh, you know, who's the other guy, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, as being one of the uh, um, unredeemable uh, characters. And, and, and I like how they tied it to the original Christmas Carol uh, novel, which is which is very, very unique, right? So it's kind of, I, didn't, I don't know if Meta. I didn't want to spoil uh, that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's been a week now. I don't know so, about before we but, talked uh, about last week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I was like, ah, oh, okay, this is very cool. So because you kind of had an idea that at the very beginning, there's, there's a, a Jacob Marley. Right. Ghost, uh, I was gonna say I was like, person. Oh, yeah, I was yes. thinking this he has to be. But you but you uh, but but is it but who is who is Will Ferrell at the end? Right. And then you find out I'm like, ah, oh, okay, so very cool. So 
Very, very, very cute. Very cute yeah, like, I love the premise. It's just really, it's really well done, the idea behind it. It was fun. Mm-hmm. It's like a fun movie. So, yeah, there's two really good kind of Christmas films. I know this, this is the season, right? So now that Thanksgiving's over, uh, Julia yeah. just had to wait for Thanksgiving for, for this. There you go. Uh, the creation, I everything else. He's decorating his house like in January, but God forbid he can't. He has to wait to watch the movies until <laughs> after Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. So we'll get to the last Christmas special towards the end of the show. But yeah, two good movies. I, I enjoyed those. Are good family watches for sure. Um, back to the shows. Uh, <laughs> the total opposite spectrum of family films and you know Christmas and Tisted season. That is Welcome to Chippendale is the Magic Mike prequel. If you will, no, I'm just not magic my people. Um, <laughs> this is starting of a it might be, right? It could be the magic my people. I don't know. Uh, if that gets your juices flowing, then you just go ahead and watch the show. Don't worry about what we have to say. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Chip and Hills. We have a uh, Kilau Ganjani, I keep messing up his name, yes, but he's yes, the star, is, yeah, based off of three events, yeah. but the creation of the Chippendale night, nightclub, dance club, whatever, yeah, yeah. Based, it's based on a book mm-hmm. on, about uh, on the life of Steve, uh, what is it, his last, but Johnny, uh, I can't remember what, what last name right. he uses in, in the work, uh, in the and uh, in the show, but yeah, this is about his life, yeah, yeah. He, you know, who's a smart, savvy businessman who, and it started, it's funny, he started, uh, as one of the started backgammon club for whatever reason. That wasn't working, and all of a sudden his t- attentions turned into something more of the exotic dancing, but with the male, pers- uh, you know, the female perspective, I guess, uh, which is really hit, you know, really hit big, and people will help them out to get it going. And obviously, based on the trailers at the end, there's a lot of stuff that went down. Things didn't go as smoothly as you anticipate based off the first couple episodes. But um, yeah, true. Your thoughts on this? I enjoyed. it. I actually liked it. I, I like this one. Um, and I say I liked it a lot, but I liked it enough to where I'm definitely gonna keep on watching it. So it's on Hulu, by the way. Uh, but it's good, man. Yes. Uh, it was entertaining. Um, you know, some funny moments and the story is interesting. You know, his, you know, how they go about creating and how he, you know, he met uh, an accountant who starts dating, but she really gives him so many tips about how to really make money behind the barn and uh, behind the barn mm-hmm. how to maximize the, the profits and et cetera. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, mm-hmm. your thoughts on this one? Uh, I was entertained, but uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm all in and the way to tell the story. I mean, they seem to be glossing over a lot of facts. I'm sure about <laughs> the life and, and certain events that, like you know, like you know, spoilers. You know, there's, there's a murder suicide in this episode one, and in season two, it's like. 30 seconds and it's like it's completely forgotten like wait, 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 wait a minute what yeah that was that was weird that was weird i don't that know if they're like, gonna well, to back to that not maybe they do i don't know somehow i doubt I don't it know. this I is know. going in linear in a linear uh time sequence so it's already gone and passed and i think we found like okay yeah uh <laughs> agree and, and so very very uh, uh weird to say the least um they spend a lot of time with his da- with the dance choreographer who ends up being his partner or whatever, because mm-hmm. obviously the death of his original partner uh, in this venture, uh, or minor partner, I should say, not 50-50 partner, but um, but some of the stuff may not be completely accurate, so there's a lot of stuff going well, on that they've kind yeah, of glossed over and changed. Yeah, there's of, uh, you know, how this goes, right? It's, well, I mean... It's, it's I, based off the true, uh, true events to some degree, but like I said, I'm not loving, I'm not saying yeah. do a rush down and go walk, but it's, uh, it's fine. I like those entertaining. It was, you know, yeah, I think it's, yeah. it's interesting. It's a limited series, two episodes currently now on Hulu. So it, it, it's know. it's it seems kind of weird because he is he's he comes across as very he wants to be a very suave business, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 smart or be viewed as that in that way, right? So, um, but but like but the stuff that goes on at the club, at least in the first couple of episodes, it's it just it's just a weird justification. It, was that true or not? I sometimes suspect it didn't happen that way. Just because of how he wants to conduct business, and and yes, 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 it's a male entertainment, but he still wants to elevate it and be a, be sophisticated. He wants to be doing a sophisticated businessman, right? He admired Hugh Hefner mm-hmm. for what he was and and the and the Playboy Empire that he built, but I don't think the stuff that happened in the back of the club is really <laughs> the way they the way they show it. But you know, nah. it just and like because he walks in and he's like, you know, it's like. Whatever. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it could have. I, I don't know. But I don't know. Whatever, like, yeah. I, but yeah, like I said, it's good. It's, it's not great. But it's a, it's, a, it's a watch, right? Something to watch. It's a good filler, yeah. right? Ultimately, it's not a bad show mm-hmm. by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I think the kind of thing, why not? This next one here. Uh, boy, Pitch Perfect Bumper in Berlin. This was uh, Adam Devine. He's a star here. He's a, 
a loser. But he's in the States, let's be honest, he still has his hang out to his dream to be a famous pop star singer, whatever, doing TikTok videos and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and context, this is a continuation of the Pitch Perfect. It is. Because he, he was a character in the first right. movie. He was part of the one of the groups, and then he, he graduated and became like, Essentially, ended up security guard at the same school and stuff. So he became a minor character, still around. He's a minor character, but yeah, it's in the yeah. same universe. But whatever, he, he wasn't a big yeah. role in the first film, in his way. Um, and in the first film, in the first film, yes, yes, he was. I mean, oh, no, he I'm was sorry. the leader of that group. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But um, yeah, so he's you know, uh, I guess his uh, uh, has been manager over in Germany. Text opportunity to bring him out there on the in misguided pretenses. They didn't know that hey, he could make a big star in Germany because his video got seven million views or whatever. Some of the case and. You know, from there, that was a lie, and the fight still, you know, work each other, try to become famous or whatever the case is. Peacock, 30 minute episodes. I'll let you go first, Chewie, on this one before I chime in here. <laughs> I like it. I, I was a fan of Pitch Perfect. Uh, I like the movies, right? I, I, I like yeah. they're they funny and they're entertaining. The, mu- the, the music, the a cappella music, and the mixing and stuff is, is obviously very interesting, at least to me, right? And obviously, there's an audience that they made three movies, so people were watching. <laughs> uh, so this show, and his character was one of these oddball characters, right? He thought himself bigger than what he actually was, right? And, or, or, and always dreamed about being bigger than someone he actually was. And so that's where the humor comes in, because he's, he's, really, he's really odd. But, but, but when we start singing, he's obviously very talented in, in that fashion, and mixing music and doing the riff offs. So and that's the part I enjoyed the most about the show, when you bring in the musical element into it, because that's what Pitch Perfect is at the end of the day, right? Um, and so it, it's it's it has its moments. It's funny. It's 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 cool. I, I'm enjoying it. It's good filler. Like I said, it's not the it's not. You, you know, put it this way. In, in the pantheon of, of of peacock shows, you know, it's a lot more entertaining than than Save on the Bell. <laughs> and we watch Save on the Bell just because of nostalgia. <laughs> well, no, yeah, we said at the time. There's no question about that. Um, yeah, I wish I could. I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. Yeah, it's not laugh out loud. Rolling in the aisle, funny, and it's not, but it is funny in the, in, in the situations and the watching character and, and developing the story. It's 26 episodes, you know, right? 30 so minutes, it's good. short, 30 minutes of pop, so, you know. But I wish I could share your enthusiasm, I really do. Um, and I know there's an audience for this kind of thing, and I like Pitch Perfect, it did not the second wasn't good. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know what it is, but I just couldn't get into it. I just added the vine. It's, I mean, he's doing his best Jack Black impression, right? And it's almost kind of annoying sometimes because um, he sounds like him, tries to sing like him. He should have just bought in Jack Black. It would have been a much, much better show if you can give me that. I'll go watch School to Rock. And he just do, it's like I'm watching a clone of him who is not as good. This is a, a third world country version of Jack Black. And, and, and that. Um, yeah, this, I don't know. It just wasn't funny, man. I, I, I just try to get into it. And I like the, the music parts are cool, right? Like when they do the songs, Jack, I like that. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just I couldn't get into it. Man. I just it wasn't I wasn't laughing. And at the end of what I say about comedies, right? You gotta laugh. It could be dumb, yeah, I stupid. I understand. Yeah. You gotta laugh, right? I just I for me was not laughing. I don't think it was that good of a show. I, to be honest with you, total filler at best is filler. I, I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm sure if you like this, perfect. You're a fan of that. You probably will enjoy this, right? To some degree. Uh, yeah. Glee, that kind of <laughs> tone and vibe, right? And the singing, the cutting song every so often or whatever. So whatever. Not for me at the end of the day, don't get me wrong. Uh, Echo 3, Apple Plus, the next show here. We like Apple Plus, three episodes dropped. I saw two. Um, Socket got in the way, so I couldn't see everything. Um, I saw three. For obvious reasons. But uh, yeah. Actually, it, the, fir- the first day is part one. So the, uh, I guess the, the, the each episode, block of episodes is a different part. Well, right, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that's when I, when I was reading it and finished part mm-hmm. third episode of it. But this one here is, uh, you know, we have a, uh, I forgot the name of the main character. Luke Evans. Luke Evans, thank you. He's like a the guy who played, ops, uh, right? Special Ops uh, Marine or I whatever. think it's Special Ops. But yeah, Special uh, Ops. And... Not SEAL, but he's definitely Special, special Ops. Special Ops. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. What, you know what part of the military. But yeah, spe- Special yeah. Forces somewhere. But he's a badass, of course. It's Luke Evans and the guy who, play, who was in Game of Thrones, uh, who played, uh, what's his, oh, God, I can't remember the character's name in Game of Thrones. I don't remember his name. Elario, Desario, one of those. Yeah, one of those guys. guys who, yeah. yeah. Those guys, like, he looks yeah, a lot, okay. not different, but yeah. But I, didn't rec- I first I didn't recognize Right, I mean, obviously, he's yeah. you know, a little bit clean shaven. Right, you know, exactly. But yeah, it's yeah. been a while, but yeah. Yeah, so those two are, you know, Special Forces, Luke Evans' sister, who, who's married to his friend, of course, in Special Forces. She goes to Columbia. She's researching, you know, plant, some plans for some, you know, things with addiction and drugs and whatever. Mm-hmm. He's also, I presumably, works for the CIA to some capacity, very minimal capacity. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's not really part of CIA, as you would think of CIA. Uh, nonetheless, they, uh, their team was kidnapped 
So now, you know, Luke Evans and the, the husband, they go down to Columbia to try to rescue her, you know, despite the fact that CA is not, you know, kind of getting in the way. They're not really endorsing a full-fledged, you know, rescue mission per se, right? A lot of complications big with the country and the people and all that. So um, this is kind of standard, you know, fair. You, if you're thinking what the show would be like, it's exactly what it is. Not to say that's a bad thing. Nothing special, you know, especially when they're going to go out and kick some ass, right? Yeah, bring her back home. That's basically what it is. Very simple in its nature and approach. It looks fine. It was entertained enough. You know, it's not upper echelon Apple Plus that we used to, right? But lately, they've been mm -hmm. kind of just skating by on the okay side, right? The last few mm -hmm. things that we've watched. This is no different, but it's good enough to keep watching if you like that. I mean, I, can compare, I can't really compare to Jack Ryan, but Jack Ryan to me was a much better show than this, but in the same vein. To some degree, uh, well, it's, it's, it's can, that's Jack what Ryan's show come because, to mind. I'm not saying it's exactly yeah, Jack because Ryan, Jack but, Ryan is trying to save the world, and here well, know, it's like to save one person. You know, this is right. There's a former he's dealing school, with kidnappers, with terror, it's, yeah, yeah well, domestic terrorism, it's terrorism, uh, terrorism. But I yeah, guess, but yeah, but, um, that, but it's in the vein in terms of a yeah. show you get that feel. Um, but it was, yeah. I said I enjoyed it, entertaining, uh, chewy. No, no, I mean, yeah, uh, entertaining. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, obviously, you know, it takes place in Colombia, so, you know, I want to support it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> There's some music and some of the sights and sounds. Yeah, that's right. Out they out did, they did, yeah. Yeah. A few tricks. <laughs> they know how to get us, man. Damn, um. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, it's, it's got a little edge of your seat, you know, moments, right? Uh, you know, especially in the second and third episode where there's... There's a shootout in one of the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Um, and, and obviously, and also in the jungle, right? And, and so, you know, it doesn't go as, as you think because obviously, you know, the, the, story, the story is going, so you can infer that they haven't rescued her yet. <laughs> it's only part one uh, of, of two or three parts, whatever, how many episodes this is. But uh, I don't say that. Yeah, it's a good watch. It's a, uh, it's a solid it. show. It's not, it's not something earth shattered. It's right. not something to bring new to the genre. Right, exactly. It's, just, it's filler, good filler. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's worth, I don't know if it's worth the, <clears throat> I guess it's worth the Apple Plus moniker in, ter in terms of the quality of the show. But it's good. Solid watch. And it didn't mm -hmm. blow me away, nothing like that. Uh, Netflix, as usual, is dropping a bunch of stuff. We got Wednesday dropping on Wednesday. Yeah, I like it. Uh, of course, it's based off the Anna's family, focusing on the character, of course. Wednesday, uh, the okay. oldest daughter, who Whoa. is, uh, you know, sent away to some boarding school that, you know, uh, uh, Morticia Gomez went to. Nevermore. You know, Nevermore. Nevermore, right. So a bunch of other. So I.E. I. E. the Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, right, stories. correct. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of very uh, Harry Potter-ish kind of school. Uh, you know, different uh, outcasts as a vampire. Well, and without you know, the magic. Wolves right and things, have... you know, things like that. Uh, Medusa kind of, whatever. No, and it's, you know, she yeah, well, discovers Medusa a mystery which she trusts. Sirens, and you sirens. know, those, those fantasy type characters. Right, exactly. Yes. And there's a mystery which unfolds surrounding her and her being there that, at the school. And she kind of becomes kind of a Nancy Jewish kind of show. At that point, she's yeah, it's murder mystery. Actually, it's more murder mystery than anything else. Right, right? exactly. This isn't like your typical Anna's family thing you expect from Anna's family, and I'm saying mm -hmm. that in a good way, right? It's just something mm -hmm. different, right? I didn't know what to expect. And I saw that. I seen the first episode, which I talked about about a month ago, which I enjoyed, like what they set up. Only one episode. I loved Jenny Ortega as as Wednesday. I thought she was great. Um, Latina representation. Yeah, the, the true even Gomez. You know, Latina. It was Latino. Um, yeah, yeah, I like the show. It was actually, <laughs> Pachanga. Yeah, Pachanga. Come on, guys, guys, he's been eating. He's been eating a lot. He's very well because he's, he's huge. Uh, I think even the thing hand, thing is Latino hand. I want to want to let him Oh, share. stop uh, it. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Yeah, the little cumbia. Yeah, little cumbia. Little cumbia. Um, oh, Jesus. But, but, <laughs> I love thinking this too. It's great. Uh, I, I was going to watch a couple episodes, but you know, uh, my stepdaughter, she's 14, so she's right for the age of watching something like this. She didn't want to stop watching it, so we binged it in two days. Um, oh wow! Okay, she, she loved it. You know, I liked that. I'm not saying I loved it, but I liked that. It was fun, entertaining. I like it was funny. I loved the character. I thought she did a great job playing her. And, and Christina, it's funny. Christina Ricci is in this, who played her, you know, Wednesday in the movies. Well, this is this is you know. was this written directed by Tim Burton? Tim Burton, yeah. He directed the first. Uh, okay, so four five episodes. he did the, the, the yeah. I think so. I, I've I've seen the first four episodes. Yeah. I see Tim Burton directed, but obviously he's tied in because he did the. The first incarnation of the Adam Family movie, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, he, he may be right. He may be right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The first one, right? Not the. Uh, I'll double check. Or, now, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, double check. But obviously, so he's that's his tie into this, and obviously, Christina Ricci played the Wednesday character in that original mm -hmm. uh, movie. So that, you know, kind of all weaving together this this universe. You know, obviously, it's, it's just 
it, 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 that's more Easter eggs and, and, and actually it's not related to the movies oh, no, or yeah, the this original is show. Its own thing. This is, yeah, its own universe. Yeah. Whatever we're going to call it, it's not like a, mm -hmm. a continuation of the um, yeah. Adam's family, not anything to that effect. So, uh, But you enjoyed it? You said you enjoyed it? I'm sorry. I enjoyed the hell out of it, man. The more, more surprising because it's, yeah, it's more murder mystery mm -hmm. with, with, with a sprinkle of fantasy elements, right? The monster, the murders. Uh, you have the, you're in a town that's related to Edgar Allan Poe, and you have certain fantasy characters, but then you have the other side, which is the the, the normies, normal humans, and whatnot, and, and the infighting between the two groups. Um, and the Windsor character is just is just so unique, yeah. right? In, in her portrayal uh, uh, of dead face, you know, showing very little emotion, but showing emotion in her actions and interactions with the other characters and trying to solve what's going on, right? And so that's what makes it very fun. Uh, a, a, a little high school high school drama type show yes. as well yes. that element but it's not it's not like you know not like Saved by the Bell right <laughs> so they, don't, they, don't, yeah, they don't lean on their YA stuff as much yes. as thank God as much as I hope they wouldn't which they didn't yeah. but it's there it's no 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 they don't, good, they it's don't. Good. the focus it's, is all is on the monster and the mystery exactly and, and it, it ends very well I so one part of it coming, the other part I didn't. So that was interesting. Uh, so I was kind of, there's a lot of red herrings out there thinking, is this, oh, this is it, or this is, you know, and it's not, you know, like any good mystery mm -hmm. should. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I like her a lot. It's, I liked it much better than I thought I would. Even after the first episode, I'm like, this can go sour. It doesn't. And, and I really hope to do season two. I really do. Uh, it's fun and entertaining. And, and, and mm -hmm. listen, Tim Burton, I, I'm not a fan anymore. And he, he didn't do the first uh, Madden Sonny, by the way. Oh, um, okay. But, um, it's not a you think Tim Burns a certain style and it kind of is but it's not Tim Burns esque which is the problem with a lot of his stuff. He lets the story kind of be his own thing, you know. He, his imprint is on there very slight and subtly. So I like that because I'm like I said, he's been not good. To, I'll be nice. He's been that good over the last 10, 15 years to be honest with you. But no, good, I mean, I mean, he did Beetlejuice. I mean, he says Beetlejuice. I mean, initially, yeah, at first look. he was great. He had scissor yeah. hands, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he, he was a big part of um. Uh, not before Christmas. Not before Christmas. He didn't direct it, but he was a part of it. Yeah, uh, obviously on mm -hmm. that one. Uh, what else did I forget? Oh, the Pee Wee's Big Top, Big Top Pee Wee, whatever. I love uh, the Pee Wee Hermes. Yeah, uh, the original yeah. Batman, of course. Yes, yes. Mars Attacks. So yeah, he had a run, had had a, run. a good run, yeah, and then did. you know, big downturn. But you know, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. I enjoy it. It's a really good show. High recommend for 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 myself mm -hmm. on that. You guys should check it out. It's really good, and it's in this. Family friendly enough, right? Because if you got teenagers and on that age, yeah, yeah, yeah. they really work. I actually love this. I'm like, okay, that was a sign of what other girls may think of the show. Uh, so mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. Uh, the last one here, this was a Christmas special. Speaking of which, we ended on, on a Christmassy note coming off Thanksgiving. Uh, of course, it's Guardians of the Galaxy on Disney Plus. We have a 45 minute uh, show, of course, you know, directed by James Gunn, who's obviously who, had, who helms all the Guardian stuff. Um, you know, basically very simple, you know, it's, you know, uh, Peter Quill, you know, human, he, the, you know, the, 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 you know, Drax and everyone thinks he's missing Christmas or whatever, and they try to bring Christmas to him, they go try to get him a gift in the form of Kevin Bacon, the greatest actor of all time, of course, saving the world with dancing and food loose. Um, so I'll leave it at that in terms of the premise, it's very simple. Um, Chewie, your thoughts on this one? This was, uh, such a cool little special this uh marvel show i mean it hit all the high notes and then some gave us something unique gave us something contained gave us a, a story with, with a ton of humor and and feel-good moments i mean it, it gave it gave us intros and outros with with animation uh it, it had it had kevin bacon for christ's sakes who joined now the mcu in official capacity uh you know, it, it immediately it gave us some nice surprises, a good tie-in to where they are now, and that's all they need to give us because it's not about that; it's about the, it's about this celebrating Christmas. Yeah, it's a very self-contained story. It's to do with the yes. MCU, and we're doing it's just a story about them celebrating Christmas. Yes. right? and that's and that's it. But Drax is Drax. It's it's hard. I mean, this is very focused on Drax and Mantis, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's like it's a good buddy cop team up. <laughs> show yeah, fish right? out of water uh, you know, kind of thing yes yeah absolutely it's great i mean they get drunk they you know they're, they're earth with money they they came up can't make them using their powers we we see i saw this i was like who's not laughing we see a group on roy oh, that's right yeah that, that was, <laughs> was odd, like, okay he was <laughs> yeah, Groot working out I mean, with uh, he's son, working out with Chris Hemsworth like, or The Rock or something. When I saw in the background, I was like, "Is that Groot?" Yeah, like, he's dancing. Like, yeah. It's like, and he's like, he's like, "Roy Mustard." Yeah, he's like, <laughs> "Okay, yeah, he's, he's growing." Okay, the, 
the <laughs> borgs are growing pretty big there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it was jacked. Uh, <laughs> but you know, but I, even the music, even the, the music is funny, right? The, you know, the, we had the front do- uh, music with uh, the Christmas Stone trying to do a Christmas song, but this is completely making fun of Christmas yeah. <laughs> from an alien's perspective. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, uh, yeah, and that yeah from the get go, right? And this is why I love James Gunn, right? So I'm glad he's in DC, right? Because he, he knows. Because, yeah, he's funny and all that's great, entertaining, but he always brings in that, that heart element to it, right? And to show what it mm-hmm. ended up as really worked, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't have been as good. The heart part, the emotion. That mm-hmm. was cool, right? And yeah, the, the intro yes. and outro with the animation. That was so cool. Mm-hmm. At first, I'm like, okay, interesting. I, 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 this is not yeah. animation, right? Well, um, no, a flashback to, to the, 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 the work of uh, James Wicker's character, right? Right, with Yandu, who's, who's not you know, yeah, longer Yeah, with Yandu's see, character. Right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. a quick outro. And, and tying, it actually ties in to Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, yes. With a uh, gift, and that's not spoiled. He gets a gift from Peter Quill, mm-hmm. and that's the gift we see in the original film. Um, yeah, the little yeah, uh, it kind of highlights or... the importance of that the yeah. troll, whatever, yeah. right? Right. Um, that's right. Because that was yeah, one of his, that was his first Christmas gift. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's very entertaining. It's just so much fun. It's Guardian. You like Guardians? Yeah, but, but we also find out that you know, as you know, as you tell the story, they have taken over nowhere, so they're in charge of nowhere. The yeah. collector didn't die uh, because of Thanos. He escaped, mm-hmm. so he's still alive out there. So when we see Benicio, the turtle come back at some point. Uh, Mantis is his stepsister, right? Same father. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they're really actually blood relatives, uh, and Gamora is still nowhere to be seen. So you know, I said they they give us little pieces that to kind of set this up as far as the next movie coming out uh, next year, I, I believe next May. Yeah. All right. So it's not just completely you know out of left field, but so they tie it into the MCU sure, universe, sure. but then it's just a just really contained little Christmas feel good story. Exactly. Yeah, it's really good. it's a good, yeah added to the Christmas list. It's really fun mm-hmm. to be a Marvel fan. I think, so. yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely. No, no, it's I mean, everything. Got the spirit of Christmas oh, is oh, all over this film. I forgot right? the, the biggest Easter, one of the biggest Easter. Uh, we we get to see the Winter Soldier's arm as a fish. Oh, that was, that was awesome. That was. I mean, it's, I mean, it's those little callbacks. It's just, it's great. I mean, yeah. God, if you like, you're familiar with the Guardians, I mean, you're gonna absolutely love this. It's it's a lot of fun. And again, mm-hmm. it, I go back to what I said before. I went out where we're by night, which I loved. The best things they put on TV are these little short kind of stories or whatever right no, mm-hmm. non-episodic just one story get in and get out the, these two have been probably the best thing one of the best things they've had that they've shown as far as Disney Plus goes as far as I'm concerned stick to that formula that, it really works I, I really enjoyed the hell out of this one uh, so that's it mm-hmm. for this week so a lot of interesting stuff good stuff to watch 1899 you guys should watch 1899 give, give me in two years second season god damn it rely on you guys to do that uh, but next week <laughs> don't, keep, don't kill us like that man don't leave it like, like that man. don't leave us don't hanging like... give us at least give us another season um, give us Sandman I was really happy to hear that um, but let's go to next week. Another big packed week. It's been packed weeks every week, for Christ's sake. Um, so let's start. There's a docu series coming out on the 29th of Netflix, uh, The Texas Killing Fields. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what this is about. Should we familiarize myself with this? Uh, this is about a series of murders that happened, obviously, here in Texas. Uh, and I guess buddies were being dumped in this one, uh, dumped in this one particular area. And so it's all about that that mystery and. And what that what transpired with those events, right? Yeah. And, and capturing that killer. I'm not sure if it was one killer or killers, uh, but obviously this happened here in, in Texas. Fair enough. It was, it was interesting again. The docu series mm-hmm. Netflix, uh, Disney Plus on the thirtieth, and next is on Wednesday, I believe. It's Willow, um, based off for you know the continuation of the original the movie. Film. Most people, yeah, mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't remember that movie anymore. I saw it so long ago about Kilmer's in it. When did that movie come out? Eighty two, eighty five, eighty six, around there. It's, it's been a while, oh, okay. right? So okay. I, I hope it's situation where you don't have to really know what happened in the first film for the most part i'm pretty sure that's their probably probably not. Take. i hope yeah. so anyway um but i heard really good things about it so there's been i've been people seeing it reviews been really good on this mm-hmm. one so i'm checking this one out mm-hmm. uh apple plus guess is excited particularly with the show we're familiar with that is slow horses season two a show that we really liked on apple plus the great gary Oldman, who heads this mm-hmm. kind of a you know uh, a team of so you know uh, misfit unit maybe a unit of, of spies of failed about, yeah. spies or operatives and all that and they get caught up in a mystery and so forth and so forth very cool show looking forward to that season two according on uh, on the second is a friday last time on that friday um, prime video three pints another mystery kind of show mm-hmm. uh murder mystery show on, on uh, amazon prime that's on the, tw- on the second that looks pretty good um, these next two in the second one is uh, Skulls. What is it called? Oh, Matt, I forgot the name of the show. Um, oh, Hot School? Yeah, Hot yeah. Skulls, is it? Yeah, Hot School, yeah. Right. I'm not a, sure if that's an international show or. Yeah, it's, it's a American Turkey show. show, international show. Oh, okay, Turkey. Yeah, it's okay. around. So I'm not sure what to yeah, expect. This pandemic yeah. uh, it's, it's a virus spreading through communication somewhat. 
Mm-hmm. And I guess they discovered as one linguistic uh, specialist, uh, ironically enough, is immune to the disease. So that pursuing him, trying to figure out what's going on, etc. So it's interesting uh, on, on Netflix. Um, Fire Lane season two. Don't watch the. They didn't watch the first season. So that comes down on, on the second. So if I always one show, won't be watching. I'm sure you will. We'll let him talk about that next week. And then also a show. I don't have Showtime, so I won't be watching this. Uh, George and Tammy on what will get Chewy stars next week on, and of course, starring is great cast Jessica yeah. Chastain, uh, yeah. uh, and Michael, Michael Shannon. Shannon, of course. Yeah, I think it's mm-hmm. a true story, kind of right? Uh, about, um, yeah, yeah, true story about, about Tammy, uh, why not? Why not? There we go, that's her name, yes, but the country's yeah, yeah, country yeah. singer. So, you know, if, if you probably, if you know anything about country, you probably would know that song, Stand By Your Man, right? I mean, it's an old song, so it's, but it's yeah. you know, forever. It's one of those, one of those that you hear, you hear it and you know it, right? You, you kind of know the Stand by your man. Yeah. 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 First, first we, we, we you know we it starts out with, with the shootout at the old okay kid crowding. A shootout is not the right word. I mean, it's I, I don't know, I'll spoil this for you. It's a helicopter with one of these massive oh Gatling guns, and then there's literally shooting out the place trying to find uh, Wallace's uh, mom, right? Uh, so that's one. And then at the they they, they bring that with a nice crescendo at the end. <laughs> and I, I, I knew that was. I was thinking to myself before it happened, like, dude, just get rid of a pound sack. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> that was. It was. I mean, that show was so brutal. Was like, that show was so, it's such a great show. You guys should definitely. Yeah, I can cancel yeah. London. Yeah. catch that. But but that yeah. that that brings the 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 infamous line from from Breaking Bad about. You know, don't take. You know, no half, no half measures. measures. <laughs> yeah, they go full force in the ending. I was like, yes. oh, hello. Great show, man. You guys are what Gangs of London as the AMC, AMC Plus. You guys should mm-hmm. absolutely check that out. But that being said, mm-hmm. I was keeping me occupied since I will be watching, um, of course, George and Tammy. We'll let uh, Chewie talk about that next week. That being said, still a busy week next week, three weeks in a row. A lot of shit to watch. A lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good shows we'll be watching now currently. It's really good. And plus, still plenty of work up action this week. So, I mean, yeah, my mornings are three or four games a day you know for the next 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 week it's, 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 it's still it's, yeah, Ron Robbins to you know pass the time when you're working at the game next to me and yeah, it's great mm-hmm. uh for at least at least the not the not the six o'clock game I, I don't roll like that no 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 I'll cash the seven ten and one right, right, right or yeah, whatever eight, whatever eight, eight, yeah. two for me but that being yeah, said yeah exactly. so lots lots to get through and all that so that being said that is today's show hope you enjoy it I'll enjoy it a lot of good shows for you guys to watch Check it out, comment if you agree. Don't agree with what we have to say. Share, subscribe, like, etc. And we'll see you guys next week.